Sure. Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world. With respect to anywhere else you want to go, if I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to go. You want to fight in Vegas, and now in this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Work with that jab, jab lands. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, he blasted the kick to the midsection right there. Got it right below that elbow guard. And on the other side, if you're the boxer, maybe need to lower that guard a little bit more. Well, you're at kicking range and not boxing range. So as he's landing damage, the boxer can't reach him with the punches. It's beautiful. And it shows how hard they worked in building this game plan and this approach that has allowed for them to jump out in front. Slips that left hand. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nice. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, the punishment's really starting to pile up here. Another straight punch landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Solid kick right there. What a beautiful body kick. Oh. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. That was landing too. Oh, nice hook there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. Just over two minutes, round one. Lands that beautiful jab. Lands the jab. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, big shot land. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, big damage and knees here to the body. <laughs> Effective use of the jab there by Short. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Joe Van gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. What? 20 seconds left. Joe Bands' strike attempt there is blocked. Final seconds here. Oh, strike lands there, 
and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin <sighs> held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, let's punch into that approach this one. Right, he has no answer for your finish. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working great. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have to fight with this. Oh, big left. Big right hand there. Factor right now. Did they inject something into his face or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to move. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Well, as my... Oh! <laughs> nice defense there. Huge block. Back to the jab now. No good. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh! Oh, no. Let's go, take that. Let that one. Oh, you hurt. Hurt him bad. So funny. Joe Bant's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Under two minutes now to go. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cuts get Oh! oh he's got him hurt here. Another leg kick land. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him... Oh, man! Oh, nice. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. 
really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Choi's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. 30 seconds to go in this one. He has landed a high ball. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. has got to be broken. I'm no doctor, but perhaps they should call on one right now. You hate to see a fight ended because of a circumstance like this, but I'm just not sure the fighter's going to be able to continue given all the blood. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Joe Bands caught his own. He's got him right here. Nicely done. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. Gonna try to take his opponent's back here, and he does. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Choi. He's continuing to target that area that's swelling and it's getting worse every time he hits it. Oh, he got to his spot. Hey, that'll do it! Oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Bowl, Du 